Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here from Wanted to Get Lost and in today's episode we're going to be installing the Sumo Springs front suspension on our RV. So stick around and let's tackle this project together. It could be this simple forever So these are the Sumo Springs uh, front suspension system for our 2008 Winnebago on a Ford F53 chassis. So the reason why I'm doing the front first is because we actually have airbags in our rear suspension and eventually I'm going to be taking those out because one thing about the airbags is they consistently leak and always having to refill them and readjust them. And I'm probably going to end up putting the Sumo Springs in the back as well. Uh, I'm going to do the front also because they are seem to be, from what I've seen, the easiest to do the installation on. And because uh, we don't have anything except for our front shocks and then the original bump stops. Uh, so these will take the place of that original bump stop. Ours are pretty much uh, decayed and are falling apart. So these will be a, a nice replacement. Also, I'm hoping to take some of that bang out of the front end whenever we hit like a, uh, a hole in the road or like a, you know, just that even with the new shocks, it lessened it from the old shocks, but there's still a good amount of front end um, heavy hitting when we hit potholes and stuff like that driving on the road. So. Uh, the reviews I've seen uh, people say that this really does a great job of taking that away and improving the ride quality and so I'm hoping that this along with our safety plus uh, steering control and our beefy uh, safety plus um, sway bar that's up there our front end will be really nice and cruising it does come in uh, four pieces this is your top plate that's going to mount to the frame where the bump stop was. Then you have your top cushion and then you have your bottom bracket that will go over the leaf spring and then your uh, bottom cushion and then it all just fits together like so. Alright, so let's head over to the RV. We have to take off the old bump stop and then we have to put on the top first and then do the bottom. So it shouldn't take that long. The only thing we're probably going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to use the jacks to lift the RV to give some relief on the suspension uh, just to get this in there. And um, we will have to do some alignment with the bottom one just to get it in position because it does have an adjustable uh, slot. All right, let's go. All right, so there's the cup is off. Ugh. All right, so I guess the tack didn't hold on this, so it snapped off, so I had to use the wrench, but it's off now, so we can put in the other piece. All right, so the plate has a lip at the end, so that's gonna go on the inside of the frame. Bolts to the outside. Put the bolt up, and just retighten in place. on now just to put the big foam cushion all right so on this there's two longer sets of holes two shorter sets of holes for our RV it came with the two longer sets and then this is the tricky part you gotta get the bolts started with your fingers and then you can get a wrench in there afterwards Alright, good. Oh my jeez. 
All right, so next we're gonna have to do is lift the front of the RV up to give us some space and then we'll be able to put the bottom on. All right. This is a continuation of the install for the front sumo springs. So when I did this back in North Dakota, I was rushing through the whole installation process because we were gonna be leaving the next day. Uh, I did the uppers and then the morning before checkout, I did the lowers. And then while I was filming, I guess everything got corrupted. So uh, I'm out here, I'm gonna show you how to mount the front ones on the driver side. That was the most difficult side. Uh, I actually pulled it off because I made a mistake, uh, which I realized after I was doing the uh, front uh, calipers. So let me show you. So the mounting bracket of the bottom is used for both sides. The difference is, is where you position your uh, bottom pad and bolt it in. So it goes on the inside and that's for our uh, 2008 Winnebago sights here on an F53 chassis. So I, as you can see here, had it on the outside, which meant that it wasn't uh, centered on the, um, uh, for the top pad. So the top pad was actually kind of hitting the, the lit, the tip right here and then rolling on so by shifting it over now this will line up dead center this part is the front that's going to face the front of your RV obviously the back the other issue I have is that we have the safety plus steering control installed uh, so there's the safety control bracket arm that's right there which also makes it a pain in the butt so I won't be able to get an air tool or get our um, ratchet tool in there I'll have to use the hand wrench let's finish this install so you can see how it turns out and then we'll do a quick recap but it's pretty simple we're just gonna pop this right on top of the spring and then bolt it down these are the two bottom brackets as you can see here and then four bolts with a square nut on the top so it fits in here so it auto locks you can see here like so and that's how it's gonna go in uh, the longer bolts are gonna go on the front because it sits higher, sits on top of the spring. This sits like right on the, the spring itself and this has a little gap. So you're gonna use the top, the longer bolts for the, the front. All right, just one other piece of advice. Lift your RV obviously either with your jack. I have our um, bottle jack under there just to give us enough room to actually slide this in. And then what you can also do, don't tighten this bottom nut, put this down lower the top spring, sumo spring onto it, see how it centers up, and then you can adjust it back and forth to make sure it centers up nice, and then lock it down. I already did that, so I know that's the good mark. All right, as you can see on the driver's side, you have your, uh, your uh, drag link, so that makes it harder. Um, so what I found is you can either come down over or come in from behind here to sneak it in and then just sit, sit it right on top. And then it's got these uh, tabs right here, so uh, it'll sit right on that spring right there. And there we go. So, should be good there. Got our two long bolts. So I do have a little bit of clearance issues right here. So you just have to be mindful of that. So you're gonna have to probably start it at a bit of an angle just to get everything uh, threaded on and tightened down. An important thing, just uh, when you tighten these, tighten them evenly. You don't want too much thread on one side. So we're just gonna zip these up a little bit. do my best to show you but you can see here's the uh, safety plus bracket that comes across so you can see how it blocks uh, this bolt and the eventual nut and everything so this is where the tight space is 
and you could always take off your safety plus bracket I just don't want to do that it's too much work So I'm just going to crank these down. This is going to be a while because of the tight fit. And then I just got to keep moving back and forth to get each side evenly. All right, I'll show you when it's done. All right, there it is. It's all tightened down, so we're good. We're just going to lower this down and check the, uh, check the uh, sumo spring, make sure it lines up, and then we're good. So as you can see, it lines up nice. Uh, the metal piece is going right up through the center. So when that fully compresses down, when I t release the rest of the jack, we'll be good. So yeah, that's it. And then I don't know if you can see over here, there's the passenger side. All right, everybody, so that is it for the install of the front sumo springs. Um, I will say that we do have probably about 1,500 miles on them uh, from when we left Medora, North Dakota, and came all the way back here to Long Island, New York, and we did uh, the northern route through North Dakota, Minnesota, uh, went through the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, down Michigan, into Ohio, to Niagara Falls, and then back down through New York onto Long Island so I will say that the sumo springs make a the sumo springs on the front make a huge difference I will say that small road cracks and bumps just get eaten up and even the really large bumps and cracks that you would hit there's no longer that wham where you feel like uh, the RV is just gonna shake apart so I definitely am super impressed by them and so happy that I finally did install them and it does make driving the front in the front and just makes it a lot easier less tiring less fatigue so I think the sumo springs paired up with our um, safety plus steering control our, um, our, our safety steer and our new shocks everything that we did for the suspension is uh, making it much nicer to drive this uh, 2008 Winnebago Prior to this video, I released the install of the rear sumo springs. We haven't driven on those, so I'll give a feedback on those once we put some mileage on them, and uh, we might be heading out of here maybe next month or so. All right, got more work to do on the RV. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on our full-time adventure living in this awesome RV. And I'll see you on the next video. Stay lost, everybody.